I'm Stephen Foskett here at Interop in Las Vegas, and uh, we've done a lot of work with Tech Field Day uh, visiting Juniper. We've had a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of great discussions with you guys. Uh, I decided to stop by the booth today because they've got something pretty exciting hiding down here. Um, one of the most interesting uh, parts of our last networking field day event was that Juniper gave us a sneak preview of their next generation chassis. And I heard a rumor that there might be one around here, but I don't see it. What do you think? Well, there is one here. Okay. And it's down here. Oh. As has as been pointed out, because it's also heavy. So this is the EX9200 programmable switch. And what makes this switch special is that we don't know what protocols are going to show up over the next decade. Okay. Um, we do know that the protocols that we use today are going to change. And so what we want to do is have a switch in our core that we don't have to change if the protocols change, but we can update the, uh, the switch hardware the, right down to the silicon layer with software so that we can support any new protocol that comes along in hardware. And the difference between supporting a protocol in software versus hardware is about a thousand X from a performance standpoint. So if you have, let's say you want to terminate VXLAN on your switch. Um, so the VXLAN packet comes in tagged as VXLAN, and maybe you want to send it out on MPLS, this switch can do that. And that was one of the things that the guys were really impressed by at Networking Field Day, was the fact that you guys were, it were well, you were talking at the time, just talking, about um, performance that was um, way beyond what the other vendors were talking about when it comes to open flow and, um, you know, VXLAN, sure. things like that, because, you know, and, they're, and they're, they were really questioning how you could possibly do that. And so the answer is, it's in hardware. So, so it's not just in hardware, it's right there. So this is something that Juniper's been doing for a long time. Juniper exists because in 1996, routers ran in software on general purpose hardware. And what we did is we took that software and put it in a chip and got a 10x performance improvement off that. And that's what made the internet go and really grow in the late 90s. And so we've been doing that for a long time. And what we found in the core of the, of the network is that we had silicon technologies that allow us to program things that, um, that you can't get from merchant silicon vendors today. So for example, this is a, a Q fabric. This is a Q fabric 40 gig node and a um, 10 gig node. And this Q fabric um, uses merchant silicon. So it doesn't have that same programmability um, that the EX9200 has. But this will go in your core. This would be a top of rack um, solution. So when you switch out your servers, you're probably going to switch out your top of rack switch as well. All right. So different use case. Okay, so yeah, so these are very, very different things and yes. very different approach. But um, all right, well, thank you very much, cool. Abner. Thanks for it's coming good by. To see you here at uh, Interop, and uh, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. And uh, if you'd like to check out that Tech Field Day video that I talked about, uh, the URL is right here. <laughs> bye bye.